Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another unboxing video for you. Two genuine unboxing videos in what, three or four days? Um, this is a knife I was very excited to get. As you can tell, I got it from Blade HQ. I only have all this stuff out here because they had a, a little deal. If you spent over 100 bucks, you got a free sticker and a free t-shirt. Pretty nice t-shirt, actually. Very thin, but pretty nice. Of course, I managed to put a hole in it, getting it out of the box, because, uh, yeah, I opened the box with this, and it's it's really sharp. Put a little tiny hole in it, not where anybody's going to notice it, not a big deal. But, anywho, be very careful if you ordered this package. They cram everything in that priority mailbox. You might cut your shirt. Or maybe you're smarter than me, that's more likely. Anyway, today, I'm unboxing the Kaiser Zip Slip. Super excited about this knife. It is a very high-end slip joint, one-handed opening, which is pretty unique uh, in the knife world. There are a few other ones, but... This is a really, really nice one. Uh, I love Kaisers. Uh, my The last high-end Kaiser I had was the Gemini, and I really liked it. And I have several Vanguards and Tangrams are made by them also. Company I'm a big fan of. And I like slip joints because I travel places where you have to have a non-locking knife. And this is about the, in my opinion, that I could find shopping around, the coolest non-locking knife I could find. They just introduced it at SHOT Show, and it's already out there. There is a cheaper Vanguard coming. This is the $144 titanium frame version. No price in the Vanguard yet, but no in Vanguards. It's probably going to be priced at 80 and you're going to be able to find it in the 50s. So first of all, we have to open the Kaiser box, which is occasionally easier said than done because you don't want to damage it if you can possibly not damage it. I think that sounds going to be easier. She said, oh, and I, I tore the thing on the box already. Just a slight little damage there, but I got it. There's another box inside. This is just kind of the slip cover. As you can see, Michael Vagnino design, Venino, model KI3507, zip slip, 2.83 inch blade. All right, Kaiser does such a good job of the packaging. Yep, there is another little case inside here. I kind of wish they hadn't gone digital camo for the case on this, because this is not a knife that uh, is tactical in any way. Of course, you get your uh, the nice little Kaiser polishing cloths. And let's get to the knife. Let's just move all this crap out of the way now. I think I got got the point across. You guys know it came with some cool stuff. They were all just freebies if you spent over 100 I think they're out of the t-shirts now, but I think they're still doing the stickers and some other stuff. Oh, also, thank you to Blade HQ. I ordered this on Friday. It is now Monday, and it's here. I called them and said, hey, can you guys make sure that gets out today? And they did, and I have it. Ooh. That's very nicely done. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the titanium starbursty kind of pattern on here. It is very, very oiled up. But yeah, as I said, it is a one hand opening slip joint. That is pretty neat. It's a bit smaller than I was expecting. It is, let me look, it is the exact measurements they said it was. I don't know, just kind of looks a bit smaller than I was expecting, but that's fine. Going to be legal anywhere. Wipe this off with my. This is my beater polishing cloth. It's someone I got from an Otterbox case from an eon ago. I don't mind getting a bit of oil on this one. S35 VN steel, full titanium. You can take it apart, which is very nice for a slip joint. Not super common. Um, and it has this, one of its thing, I can't remember the technical term for it, but the, the back bar does not move like it does on a lot of other slip joints. It's kind of neat. I like that. And it's very smooth. Definitely not something you're going to flick. It's not meant to be. It's just a slip joint you can open with one hand. Made out of very high quality materials. And for 144 bucks, I don't think that's ridiculous. You can get a lot of traditionals that cost a lot more than that that aren't made with as nice as stuff. So, kind of digging this Starburst pattern. I don't feel, it does give you some traction. That's one thing I didn't like about the Gemini is the, the finish that Kaiser puts on stuff. And to be honest, this finish doesn't feel any different than what was on the Gemini. Uh, is a bit slickery, but with the Starburst pattern on here, it does give you give you some grip. And it's got a forward finger choil, so if it does close down on you, nothing's going to happen to your hand. This is uh, this is my knife that's going to Germany with me. I can tell you that one of I'll probably take one or two, but uh, this one and something else because uh, totally legal over there. It was actually I somebody said. Some video somewhere I saw, somebody said it. Kaiser does sell a lot in Germany. 
and uh, this was kind of designed for the European market, specifically Germany, because Germany has this weird rule, and I think a lot of the EU has this rule, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, um, you can have one hand opening or a locking blade, but not both. Very, very specific little rule there, but, so this is one hand opening, but not locking. Which I like, I like that a lot. The, I guess we're going to call it a walk and talk because it's a slip joint. Yeah, the half stop is way more than half. I will say that. Um, you can, of course, open it two handed if you want. The pull is, oh, I'd put it pretty equivalent to, is it within reach? Yeah, it is. I think I had it out last night for Bruising Blades. It is, yeah, it feels pretty equivalent to this Mazarin Sodbuster. So I know I'm picking a rare one that probably nobody else has touched either. Uh, or it's also fairly similar to a Benchmade proper. Let me just check and verify that. It might be a little weaker than the proper. Let me pull out my my proper just to see. Again, this is just a first impressions video. I'll have a more full review of that. this probably this coming weekend. Yeah, it feels pretty similar to the proper, really. It just does have that kind of, that half stop is kind of weird. But this is, uh, Venino does a lot of really high-end awesome slip joints. This is a production version of one of his customs. And um, I'm liking it so far. That deep carry clip's going to be really nice. This is a knife that's just all about discreteness and class, and it's just kind of have, I think, I, I when I looked it up, I thought this is, they're just trying to make the highest tech knife you can have in your pocket without ever getting in trouble getting in trouble or scaring anyone and i think i think this definitely fits the bill for that yeah i'm liking it i was not going to do an unboxing video um i'm not supposed to be home right now i'm supposed to be over at uh mr gear bear's house giving him back some stuff and picking up some other things but we're on my way home from there actually but the mail was five hours late today and i had this and also uh, this, which I'm not going to unbox. This is just a Cold Steel Recon one I ordered from Mass Drop an eon ago. And I finally got, I'm going to open that up when I'm done with this and play with that for a minute and then feed my dogs. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to his house tomorrow. But, um, sorry, man. I don't like leaving expensive packages in my, uh, in my mailbox. And it's a good thing I did that. I waited because it was a big part of your mailbox, that and both and then a bunch of catalogs showed up that I didn't ask for so they wouldn't have fit in my mailbox but anywho I digress it's a pretty cool knife this is um as I said it it looks a bit smaller than I was expecting but the measurements are exactly what it said it was I just had it bigger in my mind I guess again that's what she said but um I do love the fit the forward choil that works really well that's great first impressions are super cool just that that weird half stops kind of odd but it doesn't hit your finger or anything so i guess it's nothing to really worry about but yep definitely one-handed one thing also i don't understand and i knew this before i got it doesn't bother me because i'm right-handed but why isn't this ambidextrous because it's a slip joint like it would be a great ambidextrous knife if they just put the i know it's all just about styling and it would kind of muck up the side but Super easy if they had the clip on that side. Well, this is small enough. I guess if you're lefty, you could just take the clip off. Not even use it. But, yeah. That's pretty neat. I'm uh, I'm happy with this. I can already, I can already say this is going to be in my suitcase going to Germany. Uh, really do like this. Very, very cool. And I'm going to... Uh, I didn't check the edge at all. Let's see. Yeah, it's not mind-blowingly sharp. Oh, no, I guess it, no, it's pretty sharp. It's not bad. I'll cut a piece of paper really quick. This is all I have sitting right here. This is photo paper, so it's kind of thick. So this is kind of an easy test, but... Yeah, I guess it's sharper than it feels. It didn't feel that sharp when I was doing my stupid touch test that you should never do, but, um... Yeah, it's not bad. And it's S35VN, super easy to touch up. It does have a nice, just a little bit of choil there, but enough, I think. So yeah, that'll be, that'll sharpen up nicely. Yeah, I'm happy I got it. 144 bucks, not cheap by any means, but you know, it is higher tech and more stuff than this. That's what, 114, I believe, if I remember correctly, 104, 114. 
you know, same same price as, and it's, a, it's, it's only a little bit more than, you know, what else we got here? Lion Steel Roundhead, you know, but they're not one-handed opening and they're smaller than this. I think this is a much more of an EDC knife than either of these two are, so kind of different categories. I'm not calling this a modern traditional, even though that's what I have out. It's just two slip joints I've got out, but there are a few other knives kind of in this category. There's one from Three Rivers that I looked at. I can't remember the model name right now. Um, I know there are a couple of others on the way, and I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm glad that, and I'll get into this more in the review, but I'm glad that the knife world's tactical phase is kind of cooling off and people are making some really nice high quality slip joints and just normal knives he says as he has a cold steel recon one in a package sitting next to him <laughs> so but i like the tactical stuff too sometimes but i'm i'm glad that they're making these really useful cool designs so i hope you guys have enjoyed this um i'm gonna upload this right away and uh I know I said I was going to have the, another review out today. It'll be out tomorrow morning. I kind of wanted just to do a little unboxing of this. Mostly because I've been waiting all day for it. And I was excited to finally get my hands on it. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.